Meghan's style evolution from her most iconic outfits to most casual outfits. From Hollywood red carpets to the royal dress code, here's a look back at Meghan's fashion evolution. Meghan's life has been nothing short of a roller coaster since meeting and marrying Prince Harry, and her style evolution has undoubtedly followed suit. Meghan adjusted her Hollywood wardrobes for royal life, but her personality still shone through. Like in her short-sleeved dresses or her modern take on royal bridal fashion. She explained that she opted for more discreet neutrals to avoid standing out when she was photographed with other members of the royal family. Most of the time that I was in the UK, I rarely wore colour. There was thought in that. Meghan said, saying that she wasn't supposed to wear the same colour as a more senior member of the family. Which is why she went for shades like camel, beige, white. Until at last week in the UK. I rarely wore colour, she said. I never wanted to upstage or ruffle any feathers. So I just tried to blend in. But I wore a lot of colour that week. I thought, well, let's just look like a rainbow. The future Duchess attended New York Fashion Week, where she appeared in a short-sleeved olive green dress. To match the dress gold hardware, Meghan wore gold metallic sandals and some dainty gold jewellery. Meghan looked regal and elegant at the London Global Gift Gala in 2013. She wore a strapless black dress gathered at the waist, and her hair was pulled to one side in sleek waves. She kept her accessories minimal with a small gold handbag, nude heels and gold dangling earrings. In a laid-back red carpet moment, Meghan wore a partially sheer white top and wide leg white pants for New York Summer Press Day in 2015. Her hair, parted to one side, was styled in two bitchy waves. In November 2017, Meghan and Harry made their official debut as an engaged couple at Kensington Palace. She wore a white wrap coat from Toronto designer Lion the label for the occasion. Meghan dazzled in her and Harry's official engagement portraits, which were released in December 2017. She wore a glamorous black rafe and Rousseau dress with a ruffled skirt and a sheer bodice adorned with leaf embellishments. In a break from the elaborate dresses of past royal weddings, Meghan went simple and timeless on her big day with a creation by British designer Claire Wade Keller for Givenchy. The gown was made of pure white silk and featured an open neckline and a slight A-line skirt. And it appeared to have been inspired by a personal favourite of Meghan's. Exactly one month after their royal wedding, Meghan and Harry joined the Queen on the opening day of the Royal Ascot horse racing event. The Duchess of Sussex wore a white button-down dress by Givenchy and a white Philip Tracy hat with black detailing. Later that day, Meghan changed into a black Givenchy pantsuit, marking her first official appearance on skirt since marrying into the royal family. Along with her fitted black trousers and a matching blazer, Meghan wore a white shirt, a black belt and a pair of black pumps. Meghan made a surprise appearance at the 2018 British Fashion Awards to present Claire Wade Keller. Her wedding dress designer and the artistic director of Givenchy with the award for Warmance were designer of the year. Meghan wore a one-shoulder black dress, appropriately by Givenchy, that highlighted her growing baby bump. She completed the look with a gold cuff bracelet by Pippa Small and her hair in a sleek lobum. At a reception in Morocco, Meghan wore a blue patterned dress by Carolina Herrera. She completed the ethereal look with a sleek bun and beige clutch. Meghan and Harry introduced their newborn son Archie to the world in 2019. Meghan wore a white sleeveless dress by British designer Grace Wales Borner. She kept her accessories minimal, with a pair of nude heels and a dainty gold necklace. Shortly after announcing their plans to leave royal life, Meghan and Harry made one of their final official royal appearances at the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey. She wore a green Emilia Wigster dress. Accessorizing with a matching fascinator from William Chambers, a purse from Gabrielle Hurst and nude pumps from Aguas Jura. During Meghan and Harry's 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey, she wore a black silk dress from Giorgio Armani. Britain's fashion museum named the item its 2021 dress of the year. Meghan again embraced monochromatic fashion while visiting an elementary school in NYC's Harlem neighborhood in 2021. A two-piece maroon ensemble, which featured an oversized jacket and wide leg trousers, was designed by Laura Piana, according to Elle. To complete the look, she also wore matching heels. At a Veterans Day event in New York City, 
Megan stunned in a red gown by Carolina Herrera and coordinating heels by Giuseppe Zanati. Megan made her love of neutrals apparent at the Invictus Games one year to go event in 2022. The Archetypes podcast host wore a white halter tank, tan wide leg pants and gold jewelry. For the Robert F. Kennedy Ripple of Hope Award Gala in New York City, Megan returned to one of her favorite styles, an alluring off-the-shoulder dress. The crisp white one she chose for this event was by Louis Vuitton, and she paired the number with black pumps, dangling earrings and a sleek bun. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.